Greetings, folks, and welcome to Vinyl Therapy Sessions, the Star Wars Rebels Part 2 collection. I am your host, Coco Smooth. Yeah, as you can see, I had to break it down into two parts because there's just too gosh dang many. Um, I couldn't do it all in one video and do it justice. You know, I would have had to rush. I'm already rushing the first video versus, and now this, not no. I got to take my time just a little bit, right? So this is what they look like in the package, and the next section will segment will be half of the segment will be of them, you know, out of package for y'all to to see. And <laughs> here's Captain Rex. We're doing this in numerical order, as always. We got Captain Rex 164. Uh, yeah, using the original eight back. Looks like this one's a Star Wars Smugglers Bounty exclusive. Mm-hmm. Next up, I think a lot of these are exclusives. Yep, another Smuggler's Bounty exclusive, uh, Darth Maul. This one's my favorite looking Darth Maul. Because he's got his tattoos, he looks so hard. Menacing. Tattoos, everything. Great look. Eyes on point. Yeah, you'll see what it looks like out of package, but he looks pretty good in package. Uh, yeah. Really cool. Uh, next up, number 166 is the Inquisitor. Uh, Walmart exclusive. Yeah, see all these gosh dang exclusives? <laughs> yeah. Got to catch them all. I, know, I don't know if all of these are Walmart exclusives, to be honest. I think maybe they all are. This, the, the seventh sister and fifth brother, I think they might all be Walmart exclusives. But yeah. Seventh sister. That's what it looks like. Yeah, all using the original six back. Right. Yeah. Uh, next up, fifth brother. Yeah, I think he looks more like one of the best, I think, just because of his face. I think he has one of the best heads. You know, him and the, the Inquisitor look pretty good. Uh, to be honest, Seventh Sister's head's not that bad either. Kind of reminds me of uh, Samurai Jack a little bit, like uh, the uh, Aku's daughter's heads. That's <laughs> what it reminds me of. Yeah. It's probably looking sharp. And last but not least, uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. This is not the super exclusive. This is just a shared sticker uh, exclusive. So I guess so. Yeah, magenta eyes versus red. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I waited forever to do this video because this was the last piece that I needed and finally acquired him for your guys' entertainment, you know. Because to be honest, I was about ready to sell all my Rebels because I didn't think I was going to be able to, to pick one of these up. Just like, that's beyond my price range and kind of got an okay deal on this. So, yeah, still planning on maybe ditching these, but only because I'm running out of gosh dang space, you know. And my heart's just not into this as, I, as it was like I used to. All right, folks. Uh, next segment will be the open part coming up next. And here is what they look like outside of the package. Um, yeah. <laughs> Their bodies are a lot thicker than the models of... The more current stuff post 2018. Yeah. So <clears throat> let's start off first with in numerical order. We'll go with Capitan Rex. Yeah. Bring it floor for y'all so you can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a bobblehead, got a good pose, got his uh Weapons and everything. Um, yeah. 
the bobblehead function, <laughs> Star Wars, you guys, Disney film, Lucasfilm, whatever, you guys really gotta let this stand and the bobblehead feature go, you know. Um, here's what I think is one of the best looking gosh dang um, malls that they have all tattooed out. The his current kind of lightsaber. Really cool. Yeah, the only thing that sucks is obviously how, unless you guys are into this thing, but watching his head bubble kind of makes me, <laughs> gives emotion sickness. Um, yeah. Kind of my beef with, with these stands is like this. Like, look, it's facing, the stand is facing you, but the pop's not facing me, so kind of facing some whole other direction so i'm not sure it's a good look you know that's uh these stands i mean you i, I don't think it's even necessary right you could uh, be lucky that you could take them off but still you know some you can't take the stands off but for i've learned that these you can <laughs> so, <laughs> surprise folks <laughs> But yeah, no, um, yeah, they should have never been included in the first place. Yeah, the Inquisitor. Mm hmm. Kind of cool. Good luck. Yeah, look, when you got the Star Wars thing, you're just facing a whole other thing. And then, of course, we got the seventh sister right here. And her bobblehead, gosh dang it, look at it, it's just off to the right, just kind of canted. <sighs> it's, it's a little bit of a bother. Look, when it's in package, you can't really tell, but now that it's out, mm, bobble. Yeah, that, that's one of the, and the uh, good news is they could get off the stand, but then, uh, what if you want to keep them in a the stand? Oh, can't have it all with it. Can't always have what you want. <laughs> can't. Always get what you want. And of course, fifth brother, whose head, and I don't know what they're doing, you know, he's facing, a, you know, not straight ahead. He stands. Yeah. I know, Star Wars Funko Pop fans, do you like this? I mean, is this your thing? That's why I think I'm more of a, inbox collector when it comes to the star wars stuff <laughs> just keep them in the package and of course my grail grand admiral throne who's got more magenta eyes than he does red and to be fair i kind of like it but it's not as accurate as i think it should be by it being more magenta than red Okay, but yeah, You're looking sharp the, in the right pose and everything. Very uh, Thrawn esque. Okay, so final thoughts on the second, the twenty seventeen collection. Um, well, it's good, right? Uh, they could have had season, you know, like more of the older versions of uh some of the characters like Ezra as you know older Ezra and Kanan you know with his blind uh version you know blind helmet and everything that that look you know uh but I guess you know I'm happy with the the, the rebels that I did get you know in better times the, the look they looked they had it in better times so yeah no but this is not a bad look I guess but you know uh overall uh I I have I d I don't know guys. I, I love Star Wars, but um I'm already so used to the new bodies that I don't know about how I feel about these older bodies. You know what I mean? Like I, I have a feeling they're gonna remake all of these things. Well maybe not because they're not selling. Disney stuff selling horribly these days. Disney not a good spot. Star Wars not in a good spot, but in an ideal world where everything was selling well, you know, with this new, you know, Disney and everything, uh, I, 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 I can imagine them doing an entire run of these with updated, 
more svelte bodies you know what i mean though to match up the modern day uh look and aesthetic you know um for now this is this is kind of like a vintage will be more of a vintage collection and you know it, the charm of vintage stuff is a thing like people still would rather get uh 70s 80s star wars toys and the the the, the modern stuff you know so it, there's always a a place for something there's always a star wars fanatic first for something you know all right folks that's all i got for this segment of vinyl therapy sessions the uh star wars rebels uh collection part two i am your host coco smooth and until the next video folks ciao